Now you're looking towards sound. Off to the right, you can see snow-covered Mount Erebus. They called it a simple flight. A drone crossing clean ice. A quick sweep for data, nothing more. The machine lifted through cold air, climbing into silence, its sensors humming softly. Numbers rolled across the screen. Altitude, temperature, wind. Everything is normal. During the survey, the drone exceeded its planned corridor and entered a sparsely mapped sector. Then, a single pulse on the radar. A dark streak across endless white. You can actually see the skid mark. It actually looks though an object is moving along that eye. It looked like a crack at first. Maybe a shadow carved by wind. But as the drone drifted closer, the image refused to blur. Lines emerged. Too perfect, too straight. Angles appeared inconsistent with typical ice deformation and fracture patterns. The team fell silent. The feed sharpened, showing something immense buried beneath the frost. Patterns carved into ice as if a hand had drawn geometry across a frozen sea. Edges met like walls. Orthogonal lineations intersected in a grid-like pattern. A structure too deliberate to be chance. For a moment, no one spoke. Every instinct said they were looking at something built, something ancient and impossibly large. They checked for faults. None. The radar was clean. The camera flawless. The shape stayed. The drone looped wide, mapping the pattern. It wasn't a single object, but many, arranged with uncanny precision. Some sections rose slightly above the snow, as if the ice itself were trying to hide what it couldn't destroy. The lead scientist leaned closer, whispering that these lines looked engineered, the symmetry almost architectural. Others stared, unable to explain what their eyes already believed. The drone moved deeper into the unknown, the horizon a white blur. Beneath the surface, the dark geometry continued, repeating, possibly hexagonal segments, the skeleton of something far older than memory. Then the signal arrived, a low rhythmic hum slipping through the static, too regular to be random. It vibrated in the headsets like a living pulse. Instruments spiked. The frequency wasn't natural. It came from deep under the ice, near the structures. The waveform was smooth, precise, and constant. A steady, repeating signal was detected beneath the ice. They listened, half afraid, half entranced. The signal repeated, steady as breath. Was it a machine, a message, or something else entirely? No one knew. The sound rose and faded, then vanished. The drone hovered, its sensors flooded with static, before the hum returned, stronger this time. Now you're looking towards the sound. Off to the right, you can see snow-covered Mount Erebus. The team stared at the monitors, realizing the impossible truth. Whatever lay beneath was active. News spread fast. A few leaked frames reached the public before the data could be sealed. Grainy images of straight lines under ice ignited a storm of theories. Lost civilizations, alien outposts, secret governments. Public speculation also revived older myths, Atlantis among them, cited as commentary rather than evidence. But behind the noise, the researchers focused on their evidence. The forms appeared unusually regular for natural ice processes and extensive in scale. The signal exhibited a stable, repeating pattern consistent with artificial sources. And though no one could yet prove it, the feeling was universal. This was not a coincidence of nature. A second mission was launched. The drone returned to the site, tracing new paths. The structures extended farther than they imagined, stretching miles across the glacier. Beneath the lens, the ice shimmered like glass, hiding something alive. Sensors caught faint energy readings, fluctuating in sync with the electromagnetic pulse. The team's fear deepened. The deeper the drone flew, the stronger the readings. Signal strength increased with proximity, indicating a possible positional correlation. Theories multiplied. Some believed the ice was hiding remnants of an ancient civilization, erased by time and buried by an age of storms. Others spoke of an extraterrestrial origin, the remains of travelers who had come long before humans ever walked the earth. A few even suggested the signal was a warning, not a call, a barrier built to keep something hidden. Various individuals positing it could be anything from an entry to an ancient Nazi hideout or even a gateway to a mythical subterranean realm. Whatever it was, it was powerful enough to survive beneath two miles of ice and time itself. Days turned into nights filled with quiet awe. Researchers replayed images, freezing frames, tracing shapes, ratios repeated, distances 
mirrored each other. The designs followed patterns found in architecture, nature, and even the human body. It felt as though whoever made them had understood balance on a scale far beyond us. The deeper they studied, the more questions arose. Had something intelligent once lived here? Had it died? Or was it waiting? Each time the drone flew, the pulse returned. Calm, patient, steady. It moved like a breath beneath the world. When storms raged above, the signal held. When the sky fell silent, it pulsed still. Nothing interrupted it. Once it changed pitch, just for a moment, when the drone crossed an unseen line in the ice. The data showed the shift clearly. It wasn't interference, it was a reaction. A brief pitch change was recorded as the drone crossed the area. The cause is undetermined. Plans for ground-penetrating radar followed. A team proposed a low-impact scan, maybe even a surface probe. But Antarctica is a fortress. The cold kills machines. The ice swallows metal whole. Every step forward came with risk. Still, curiosity pushed them on. The thought of leaving it buried felt unbearable. They needed to know what slept beneath. Then came the whispers. Secret expeditions. Unmarked aircraft. Silent research bases buried in fog. Rumours said governments already knew that the parts of the continent were off-limits for reasons beyond climate study. The drone team ignored the gossip, but doubt grew. If someone had already discovered these formations, why keep them secret? What could be so dangerous about the truth? Some began to believe the ice itself was the secret. A wall built by design, not by nature. A barrier keeping the world from whatever lay below. Some hypothesized that the surrounding ice functions as a natural or intentional barrier. Maybe the civilization that built these structures sealed them beneath, protecting the world, or protecting themselves. If that were true, the signal wasn't just a random frequency. It was a guard still standing watch, a long-duration transmission that may serve a monitoring function. The idea consumed them, the ice wall as a prison, a promise, a shield. What could demand such protection? A lost technology capable of reshaping the world. A machine that generates energy beyond comprehension. Or something far darker. Something that should never be unearthed. Each theory felt possible. Each one carried its own terror. Yet awe always overpowered fear. To stand on ice that might cover the oldest secret on Earth was to feel both infinite and small. If these shapes were proof of a forgotten civilization, then human history was incomplete. If they were not human, we were not alone. Both possibilities changed everything. On the final survey flight, the team rescanned the site. The drone rose into golden light, spilling across white silence. As it crossed the site again, the signal began, stronger than ever. The ground below flickered with faint electromagnetic interference. A pattern formed on the sensors, an echo of the same hexagonal design. Then, for three full seconds, the tone modulated. It changed pitch in a deliberate rhythm, like a message waiting for translation. The drone recorded it all before the feed cut to static. Back at camp, the scientists replayed the sound again and again. The pattern was unmistakable. A repeating sequence, five pulses, pause, three, was logged. Independent verification is pending. It was too precise to dismiss. Some believed it was mechanical, a machine deep below still operating after millennia. Others thought it was intelligent, a transmission reaching out through the dark. Either way, it had waited long enough to be found. When the team finally left Antarctica, the world already knew. Images leaked, theories bloomed, and curiosity spread faster than the cold wind that guards the South Pole. But the truth, whatever it was, remained buried. Ice held its silence. The pulse continued, slow and certain, beneath a continent that was never as empty as it seemed. The discovery became more than data. It became a mirror, reflecting humanity's hunger to uncover, to touch, to know. Some said the signal was a warning, a reminder that curiosity can awaken things not meant to wake. Others said it was an invitation, a call to step beyond fear and learn who we truly are. No one can say which is true, the ice does not speak in words. It whispers in frequencies, in light, in time. It keeps its promise to protect what lies below. But one truth is certain. Beneath Antarctica's eternal cold, further investigation is required to determine the origin and function of the features. And so the world listens. The signal beats like a heart in the dark, steady and patient. 
Each pulse is a reminder that the unknown is not empty, only hidden. Someday, perhaps we'll reach it. Someday, the ice will give up its secret. But until then, it watches us as we watch it. Two worlds divided by miles of frozen time. The white continent sleeps, and under that endless sheet of ice, something remembers. 